guys, it's Queen Nija, and in today's video, I will be reacting to Ring 2 Episode 9 of Takto Opening Destiny. So let's go ahead and get started in 3, 2, 1, hold on, in 3, 2, 1, go. <sighs> See, now it was too cold, now it's too hot in here. God, you can't win! Are you sure though? Oh, babe. Oh my god. Precious baby girl. Can we get a spin off on them, please? Like, I'm sorry. I I love them. Like, yes, I love them just as much as Anna, <laughs> On, and Tato, and Destiny such Cosetto. But I really, re I think ever since Leon made an appearance, um, so bad, want him and Titan to get like a spinoff. Because they're such interesting characters, and you want them to be featured in like more ish and situations and stuff. Because, you know, sometimes it's like, almost in a blue moon, will there possibly show up? But now it's kind of like, they might be a little more consistent, especially because of the fact is we still don't know how many episodes this show is going to get, and we are very close um, to the, really to the end of this season. So this could either still get 12, as I've said before, or they're secretly just not saying anything until we get to that quote-unquote last episode, and they're like, hey, you know, we got 12 more episodes, and they be like, oh, okay. <laughs> So who knows? Damn, still busy. Probably one of the biggest safe havens still. Mm -hmm. Are we going to see her sister and I? I mean, that would make the most sense, right? God, I remember seeing that building for the first time and I was like, how the fuck people live there? Yeah. It's like the same in New Orleans.
So are we gonna do this like right now? as well. Well, gosh, but the way it looks, it almost looks like a, um, almost like a justice hall in a way. Guessing the color of like their uniforms means like rank because I mean you know we all saw black and then one red So, but let her see it. But if you're supposed to be friends, you're supposed to tell them everything, right? So what else are they supposed to do? Mm -hmm. oh. If you keep going, you'll die.
Oh. <laughs> yeah, let's go out. <laughs> Destiny. <laughs> so you need food. You're going. There we go. Oh yeah, most definitely. Like, oh my god. <sighs> Reminded myself when I went to the fucking M&M store. <laughs> They're literally anywhere. Oh my god. <laughs> mm, that looks so good. Or like when I had, oh, I had like the best pizza. Oh my I want pizza now. <laughs> oh, it's so cute. <laughs> Yeah, so somebody has to go see that with her. Duh. No, 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 no. You two stay here. Hello, she has a sugar craving, so she's going to want to eat anything.
It's so cute. Yeah, did a lot of things without asking or without thinking. Hey, but you get to eat sweets for the rest of your life. Or just food in general, because you know that's most of us women. That's all we want. We want to eat food without gaining weight. Don't like the sound of that music right there. Destiny? That could just be hell just learning down there. Is that supposed to be BBC? <laughs>
Okay, hold on. Wait, 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 wait. What about Charlotte? They're not going to show it. Of course not. Told you. Motherfucker. Like, God. Uh, so now are we going to have, like, a whole episode on learning the truth about that? Like, are we going to have, like, flashbacks during the whole episode? Okay, but hold up. Like, the fact is now that Lenny wants Toctal to literally get the fuck out of New York. They just fucking got there. We just finally got freaking Anna and freaking Cosento slash Destiny like back with her whole family. All five of them are together again. And now you telling him he gotta leave and they gotta leave too. But <laughs> we gonna leave Charlotte and their parents here. Like, whoa, Jesus. Mm -mm. At least give them time to go get Charlotte. But see, at the same time, thinking about heaven and hell, especially heaven, because heaven was more in this episode rather than hell. Hell was featured a lot in last week's episode. What if hell used that? I don't remember what the hell that thing that's called. The the instrument that hell, that, uh, yeah, that hell was using. Heaven had to use that, maybe. Or maybe that's just, that's hell. I don't know. That, that made the sound shit. Ha! This is too much. Oh my god, I got a headache. <laughs> ah! Ah! Fuck. Fuckity fuck fuck fucking. <laughs> ah! Straight up. Oh my god. Okay, so as I was trying to say, so the little instrument that you're like when you hit it and you're trying to get a tune and everything that. Let's say Hell is using that. She's down and underground and such because immediately I thought that, you know, both Destiny and Tato would have ran back down to the subway system and, you know, had to fight there. But because they came back to um, Anna's family's house and such and they're having a conversation with Lenny and Lenny is telling them to get out, Charlotte, as of right now, looks very highly suspicious even with working with the um the conductors and this um and the music arts and such but whatever it is we don't know especially with what the heck dude was talking about who was working with hell last week and how he got you know downgraded fired <laughs> bitch um because i feel like the con the meeting the, the conductor that is working with heaven He's got to be the reason his uh, talk to his dad died. There, there's because something doesn't add up. Something does not add up. And the fact is that we're going to find out the truth about what all happened in Boston. Like this is possibly going to change everything, specifically for how Tocto is going to fight the way that he that he fights. Now that we know that these two cannot be separated. It still makes me wonder, like, when this does eventually end, whether if it goes on for 12 episodes or we're going on for another 24 episodes with this show, are these two both going to die? 
essentially. Because, you know, going into last week, I was thinking, yeah, they're going to find a way to, you know, get Destiny out of Cosette's body and put Destiny into, like, this artificial body, like, in one of my favorite movies. But since that can't happen now, what else can you do for her? That's the biggest thing. It's like, it, as I said, what else can you do since you now can't do anything for her? And it seems like Destiny will be like this for the rest of her life. And, you know, Cosette is just dead. Cosette will never come back. And I love the fact that, you know, we got to have little moments between Tocto and Destiny. Uh, uh, yeah, and Destiny. And seeing them together and, you know, Tocto talking about, like, we could have a normal life together and we don't have to worry about fighting. Yes, I can still write my music, but unfortunately, like, you're not going to be able to listen to it. And just, um, oh, God. This is too much! Oh my god, it's too freaking much. And this is only episode 9. I, I need to just go to next week. I, I can't wait, like, 7 whole days, 6 whole days, 6 days. Like, yes, tomorrow is JoJo Day, and that's going to tie me over until next freaking Tuesday. But right now, I just want to go to the next freaking episode. God, I wish I had waited until next week to watch this. But no, of course, I gotta watch it today. But the way that this just ends, like... Anything could fucking happen next week, and I'm scared. But other than that, guys, let us my reaction view towards episode 9 of Talk to Opening Destiny. If you guys enjoyed it, please give me a like. It really helps me out. Also, subscribe to my channel. I make videos every single day. Join the Master Squad. And, of course, I will see you guys officially all next Tuesday for episode 10. Bye, guys.